Happy morning, children. How are you all? Yes, you are all fine. Very good. Okay, in today's class, in our English class, we are going to continue the poem which we saw in the last class. Actually, we learned about the poem The Road Not Taken. So, last class, we have learned the poem The Road Not Taken, right? Which is written by, yes, very good, Robert Frost. The Road Not Taken is a poem which is written by Robert Frost. He is an American poet, right? Very good. So, in today's class, we are going to continue with the poem. So, in the last class, we have completed two stanzas, right? And there are two more stanzas remaining. And we will try to cover it in today's class. Okay, done. Shall we get started? Okay, very good. So, before entering into the poem today, I will just recall you what we have learned in the last class. Okay? So, we have seen that there is a poet who is walking through a road and where he gets a point where there is two road diversion. And he is there, standing there very confused which road to take up, right? Because both the road seems to be very similar and is not sure which road to take up. And if you see, he is the, it's just the one person, right? So he cannot travel both the road and he cannot say that once after traveling it, he can come back to the this road if he faces any failure that he can come back to the um, the point where he started and he could restart a different path. This should not happen and it will not happen in our life too. So this poem, it just compares the life of our human beings in our real life situation. We also face similar situation where we will be confused which decision to take up. As I have already told you, when you go up to your 10th and 12th and your graduation and all, you will be faced which course to take up, right? So same like that, this person is also confused which road to take up and he needs to be very clear of the advantages and the disadvantages which is going to lead and once he has chosen something, he cannot come back and restart that if he faces any failure. So he, he needs to be very clear. So that day, as there were two roads and it was all now, yellow words which represent the people in the world. So, they are all settled there and this person is going to start his life and he has to choose which road to take. And he is looking through the both the road, looking straight into that as far as he could see and he is seeing whether it turns and bends or not. So that he can decide what to take up but he cannot see afterwards right because when we see through a road and we could see as far as the bend is and after that we do not know what happens and what is there isn't it. So this person is also confused what to take up and finally he decides one particular road okay he decides one and he, he thinks that it fits him for everything he thinks that it is better than the other so he has decided that okay this I am very sure that I am going to take up this road because it is very fresh. Nobody has used it because you can see from the grass. Uh, when you see the grass, you know, if it is fresh and all, when nobody has stepped, it looks very fresh, right? So he is comparing both the roads and he thinks the road which he has chosen that nobody has, uh, I mean, used it. So he is going to take up the road and he's finally started to walk on that road and what happens after some distance he finds that this road is also being used up by the people okay he finds out that this is being used up by the people only after traveling for some more after traveling for some more time he would recognize that this has been used by the people also as like the same other road this is also the same so he is now understanding, okay, in every life we have both negative and positive. So when we take up a decision and we go on with that, we face the challenges also. We face both the negative and the positive aspects also. So this is what he is learning from that, okay. So from the two stanzas, that is the message we are getting, right? And here we have got third and the fourth stanza. We will see what happens next. And both that morning, equally day, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the fast for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to, on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. He 
Here is the fourth stanza. I will just give a reading. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverging in a world, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. So this is the two stanzas. So let's first learn the third stanza. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Who oh, I kept the fast for another day, yet knowing how may leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. So he is saying that on that morning, as it is so fresh in the morning, both the roads looks very similar. Okay, both the roads look very similar. They look very fresh. Okay, and both that morning equally lay. So both the roads they look very similar and same. In leaves, no step had trodden black. So you could not find out whether somebody has walked or not. So it is all very fresh. The leaves are all fresh. It doesn't show any, show any that uh, steps had been walked on. So I kept the fast for another day. So he thought that the fast road he can go up. Uh, I mean, he he can travel another day, and he wanted to try the other road. So fast road, he kept it for another day to travel for some other day. But it is not so possible. Yet knowing how way leads on to, I doubted if I should ever come back. So he says that while fast road, he is keeping it for another day. He thought that he he could travel the fast road some other day and to take up this another road today. But is this possible? He also says that I don't know if I can come back and travel or not because if I take up a road, that road may lead to some other way, but it will never make me to come back to the point where I started. Okay, so he's just confused and he says that okay, fine, let me take up this road and the first road, let me keep it for another day. I don't know whether I'll be able to come back to the point and travel or not. Okay, let's see. I'm doubtful. I'm quite doubtful about that. But let me see. Okay, this is what this condition is. Same like that it happens in our situation. We think that maybe uh, we we'll, we we'll just take up a decision and go on with that. And once we face any failure, we may think that we can come to the starting point and we may go for another option. But that will never happen. Keep that in your mind. Is not so possible. Once you take up a decision, once you are chosen, you need to be very strong with that. Though though you face any problems, negative, positive, whatever it is, it's up to you. You need to make it more positive and successful. You, sh you should not think that you can come back to the point where you started and you can take up some other thing which may be successful for you. So that's not going to happen. So this person is also. Clear with that. So he thought that the first road he can take up some other day, and uh, I, he doesn't know whether he can come back to the point where he started and he can start with the other road or not. But he is quite doubtful with that, and he is saying, "Okay, let me take the uh, another road." Okay. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood. And I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. So here he say in the future, he saying that in the future maybe I shall be telling this with a sigh. Okay, in the future he may be telling with a great sigh. Papa, he would be telling in the future that I have crossed all the roads. Somewhere ages and ages hence. So after long, long, long years. Okay. So in his future, when he's old, he would say that with a great sigh that two roads diverged in a wood. Okay. That you would say. Okay. You just imagine that in the future, this poet is going to say that in his childhood or in his uh, younger age. age there were two roads which diverged in front of him in a word and he had to take a decision. Okay, and I took the one less travelled by. So he's saying that I took the one which is not travelled by most of the people. So which is travel less. Okay, 
So I took the one less traveled by, so which is not used by many people. And that has made all the difference. So that has made all the difference. The choice he has made, it has made all the difference. And I'm here, and this is what I am today. So due to the choice I have made, that point and that has led to me to my present and I'm here the way I'm today. So this is what happened with the choice I had made. Okay, so this um, is being said in the future uh, contrast like that um, this poet is saying that in the future he would say after long long years he would say with a sigh that I had to take a decision. So there were two roads diverging in front of me in a world and I had to take a decision where I took the road which is travelled less by the people and and that has made all the difference. Okay, so that has changed my life and that has made all the difference and this is what I am today. So this is the boy saying that he would say in the future about his travel, about his uh, choices, about his decision, everything. Okay, do you understand now? Yes, this is what the poem. I'll give you a short recall. Okay students, I'll now read the whole poem and give you an explanation. Okay, the first answer. Two roads diverge in a yellow world and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as far that the passing there had warned them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverge in a word, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, children, let's see the explanation. We have already learned the poem. I'll just recall you. Okay. So actually this poem, The Road Not Taken, it was written by Robert Frost and it was published in the year 1916. Isn't it? So you are clear with this. Okay. So this poem is, describes the dilemma of a person standing at a road with diversion. And this diversion symbolizes real life situations also. So sometimes in life, there comes a situation when we have to take tough decisions, right? So we could not decide what is right or wrong for us. So driven by our hopes and ambitions, we take a decision taken by fewer people. So we think that if we fail to seek accomplishments, we could get a chance to change and start again. However, we travel too far and have to regret at the end. So it is not possible to come back to the point where we started. So we cannot start our beginning again. So and also it is possible that we could become an extraordinary person because of that one decision. Thus the road not taken summary focus on, focuses on making wise decision in life. So, we need to take wise decision in life. So, the decision we are taking, it may lead to a success or it may lead to um, failure also. Yes, so this poem, it signifies a situation where the poet was walking down a road and that had a diversion. He had to choose between the two roads. So you know this situation. So since he was a single person, he could not choose only one of the two paths. The word was yellow which represents a world full of people who have been residing for many years. So this is what we have seen, right? So the yellow words, it symbolizes the people of the world who have been residing for many years. And the poet. He was 
standing at the fork and looked at the paths very carefully and he looked as far as he could before moving forward on one path he wants to understand how it was and was it suitable for him to walk on it or not he was able to see the path till from where he got curved and however after that it was covered with trees and thus was hidden right so he could not see what's after that and he wanted to understand the advantages and disadvantages of the paths so that happens same in our life the same happens in life too we have to make decisions thinking about its good and bad consequences in the future okay and the poet he looked at one path for a long time to decide whether it's good or not for him and then he takes the alternative path as he feels that both paths are equally good and he feels that the path he chose was better for him the path was grassy which depicted that it was walked over by fewer people and also it was wanted weird so that path it depicted that it was walked over by fewer people because it was very grassy so he thought that nobody has used this path so i would take up this path which may lead to success so this is the situation so it depicted that the path was unused however as he walks on the path for some distance he realizes that both the paths were similar similarly worn out and even in our life every decision has its own good and bad consequences so we might think that we are in a better position than the others but it is not the reality okay we need to understand we have both good and bad things in our life both good and bad i mean negative and positive aspects so we should not think that we are in a very good position than the others and we should not dominate others it is not the reality okay and the poet here says that the two roads looked similar that morning so this is about the third stanza so he says that the two paths it looked similar that morning both were having leaves on them no one stepped on that and thus were very green so as nobody has step, stepped on the leaves it was very fresh and green he decided to move forward on one path and keep the other for another day so he wanted to go for the one path and he wanted to take up the other path some other day although he knew that he would not be able to return back as one path would lead to another so this happens in our life also we make a decision and we move forward in that direction we think that we would get a chance to start over again if we fail but that does not happen once a decision is taken we need to go forward with that it never happens that it would give you a chance to start over again okay and the poet says that sometime in the future so in the four, fourth stanza he says that sometime in the future he will take a deep breath and tell that once in a lifetime he had to take a tough decision and he was standing at the diversion of two roads both look to him equally well thus he decides to move forward on the road which fewer people took as a result it has made him what he is today so that one decision shaped us future so similarly in the future when we grow up and then we have to say that once upon a time when we were in our in your age and all when we were in youth and all so you have to take tough decisions and the choice made by you had made you what you are today so this is what's been happening so from the poem we come to know that the poem tells us that we need to take careful decision we should be very careful in making decisions in life so one should be very wise and careful while making choices as our choices shape our future of course our choices the decision we make it shapes our future right yes 
also once we make a decision it is very difficult to change and start again so one bad decision could make us regret in regret it throughout the life and all this depends on the choices we make today so all the future whatever it is it depends on the choices we make today so that's why we need to take very wise and careful decision okay so this is a what about this poem we have successfully completed this poem i hope you have understood so for your homework the question and answers the brief answers and detail answers will be sent to you through pdf so kindly copy it down and in the next class we'll start with a new lesson thank you children